how to market your music and gain fans. That's the topic of today's video. I used this exact method to get over 8,000 streams last month on Spotify. And I'm gonna tell you exact, like I'm gonna tell you my exact music marketing strategy and the best ways to get user generated content um, and what mistakes you need to avoid when you're marketing your music, what you should not put into your strategy, period. So all of my marketing plans come straight out of chapters 33 through 36 in my ebook, The 48 Laws of Music Marketing. And I highly recommend that you go down in the description and check that out. So, but for those who don't have the book, I'll tell you um, exactly what those four laws are. So the law of DIY marketing, the law of user generated content, the law of trend writing and the law of fan-made content. So I'm gonna explain each law and how to apply it in this scenario, right? So every independent artist is trying to get their music heard. We all trying to get heard, bro. And if you ever felt like your music is playing to an empty room, you're not alone. Like we all get into the world of do-it-yourself marketing with a passion, but we hit this roadblock because marketing, it really is not a part of music. So this, the challenge lies in trying to be a jack of all trades and in a world that demands perfection, DIY marketing really encompasses social media creation, like content creation, engagement, analytics, like it's a lot, bro. And balancing your artistic expression with your marketing stuff is like trying to juggle three balls, pause. My DIY marketing blueprint, you wanna identify your audience. Like you really wanna know who you're talking to and speak clearly to them. And this is gonna guide you throughout the whole strategy. Number two is engage authentically um, because social media is like a stage. And if you engage with the audience genuinely, respond to comments and share behind the scenes stuff, your personality will come out more. It makes sense, right? Um, number three is con content consistency. So establish a consistent content schedule. So that could be vlogs, snippets, behind the scenes, just drop footage. Four, um, leverage DIY platforms. Utilize DIY friendly platforms like Bandcamp, SoundCloud, and even YouTube. Go figure. Um, because these platforms can really be powerful for reaching new fans. And number five is collaborate with other DIY people, you know, other independent artists, collaborate with them and reach a wider audience, you know, tag them in everything. And then the law of user generated content. That's number two. Um, another common mistake is to underestimate the power of your fan base, your fan base spreading the word for you. So it's like hosting a party and forgetting to send out the invites. So like user generated content has the power to turn your listeners into promoters, extending the reach way by way further than you could do. So I got some steps to activate your fan base right here. You wanna encourage fan contributions. So invite them to create content related to the shit. Like invite them to do cover songs, ask them to do fan art or dance to the song, make a video. Um, number two would be to create hashtags. So when your fans are creating this content, they can put hashtag silly man or whatever the fuck the hashtag you create. It's easier to track it and really share it that way. Number three is to spotlight fan creation. So when someone does create some shit, post it on your page. So it's like an incentive to your fans. Like they want to be seen and they want to be acknowledged. So it also encourages others to contribute. I don't know if I said that already. Um, number four is host contests, right? And challenges and engage with the audience with creative shit that sparks excitement, you know, kind of motivates them to actively participate in whatever you got going. And then five is to collaborate with fan influencers. So <clears throat> identify who fans like really fuck with in your niche or in your community and then collaborate with whoever your crowd seems to fuck with, if that makes sense. And then, you know, I don't want this video to be too long now that I think about it. 
So I'm gonna kind of just fly through these next two if that's all right with y'all. So the next one is the law of trend writing. And this is basically the idea of taking trends and applying it to your music and your marketing strategy. And in a nutshell, that's the law. And here's some steps to do this better, all right? This is how we're gonna do it. So number one is writing the trend. So stay informed, keep a finger on the pulse, like figure out what's popping right now in the digital landscape, whatever. Platforms like TikTok and Twitter are great to see where trends are coming from. Stay on those, bro. Next, adapt your content content to infuse these trends into the music, into the visuals, into the promo content. And then it's not that you want to lose your style, but like add to your style with the trend. Next, like I say, engage in challenges, create hashtags. This is going to make trends and connect with a broader audience, right? <clears throat> um oh and then law of fan made content this one's pretty self-explanatory it's it's things like remixes when uh fan art and unofficial merch so you want to embrace fan made content don't be trying to call people out for fake shit bro like so encourage remixes ask them to re remix your songs bro like and when they do it shout them out for doing it Host fan challenges. Again, this is a big one. And I feel like everybody sleep on this, bro. But the challenge could be like, create a piece of artwork and I'll use it on my next album or something. You know how, think about it, bro. Next, um, feature the those creations. Like I say, showcase the fan made shit. You can make reels about it, TikToks about it. There's so many ways you could. I just want you to be creative with this, bro. But like I said, I'm really done talking about this content shit because y'all should have it by now. For whatever reason, though, YouTube wants you to watch this video. So watch it.